Good morning, everyone. The Mass intentions for today for Tanya Africa and for Dr. Yvonne Redouble and on their birthdays. All who are thirsty, come to the waters, says the Lord. Though you have no money, come and drink with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In grace and peace give thanks to the Lord for the forgiveness of all sin. And ask us, let us ask the Lord for purity of heart, that we may worthily celebrate these holy mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. In those days, the angel brought me back to the door of the temple, and behold, water was issuing from below the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east. <clears throat> and the water was flowing down from below the right side of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar toward the east. Then he brought me out by way of the north gate and led me round on the outside to the outer gate that faces toward the east, and the water was coming out on the right side. Going on eastward with a line in his hand, the man measured a thousand cubits, and then led me through the water, and it was ankle deep. Again he measured a thousand, and led me through the water, and it was knee deep. Again he measured a thousand, and led me through the water, and it was up to the loins. Again he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass through, for the water had risen. It was deep enough to sweep in, a river that could not be passed through. And he said to me, Son of man, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river. As I went back, I saw upon the bank of the river very many trees on the one side and on the other. And he said to me, This water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into the Araba. And when it enters the stagnant waters of the sea, the water will become fresh, and wherever the river goes, every living creature with swarms will live, and there will be very many fish. For this water goes there, that the waters of the sea may become fresh. So everything will live where the river goes. And on the banks on both sides of the river, 
There will grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither, nor their fruit fail, but they will bear fresh fruit every month, because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food, and their leaves for healing. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, an ever-present help in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock though the mountains quake to the heart of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place, the dwelling of the Most High. God is within. It cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come and behold the works of the Lord, the awesome deeds he has done on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Create a pure heart for me, O God. Restore in me the joy of your salvation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate a pool, in Hebrew called Beth Satha, which has five porticos. In these lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him and knew that he had been lying there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is troubled, and while, while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your pallet, and walk. And at once the man was healed. He took up his pallet and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your pallet. But he answered them, The man who healed me said to me, Take up your pallet and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your pallet and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn as there was a crowd in the place. Afterwards, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more, that nothing worse befall you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who healed him. And this was why the Jews persecuted Jesus, because he did this, on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we have a very dramatic physical healing, dramatic in all kinds of ways because of the back story to this healing of the paralytic, the fact that he had been paralyzed for 38 years, led Jesus to ask him, really, do you want to be healed at all? After all this time, you've not managed to get into the pool because for some reason, and the first into the pool would be healed. Of course, it's not just about that incident and that healing, physical healing. The issue emerges after the healing when we discover it all happened on the Sabbath. And the Pharisees were very strict about the Sabbath, weren't concerned at all about the people who were sick, more concerned about the details of the law. It is not allowed to carry your sleeping mat on the Sabbath. The story goes deeper still when Jesus meets up with the man in the crowded temple and alerts him to another level of healing, the healing of his soul. Sin no more, lest something worse happen to you. And so that leads us to what we might call spiritual paralysis, which can affect people for 38 years or more. Just imagine a kind of spiritual paralysis where there's a mediocrity for 38 years. This is possible in ordinary life without giving a thought to God, or to prayer. But it's also possible, as we know from the history of the saints, it's also possible in religious life to drift through for a very long time before the penny drops, before we discover that we have kind of wasted many years. Linked in with this is the dramatic power of the Word of God. Jesus said to him, get up, take up your mat and walk. Get up. And he says to those who are spiritually indolent and lazy and mediocre, get up and walk. Get a life. Get an eternal life. Walk in the light. And if we have been accustomed to just doze our way through life, wherever we are, the call today, this Lent, is to walk in the light, not just to linger for many years using a convenient excuse, it's an excuse which is valid but ineffective. We are meant to be alive in our spirit at all times so that we can do the will of the Father. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Amen. Amen. For our good and good of his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator, for this our mortal life, and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for renewing and purifying their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed, by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. <coughs> the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen.
The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies, now and likewise in time to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may continually receive from your kindness whatever is for their good, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.